In Project Zomboid, the traits you choose should be a reflection of your personal playstyle. However, I do believe there are certain traits that are objectively essential, regardless of what your playstyle is. In this video, I will show you the best positive traits that will profoundly impact your overall gameplay experience. Some of these traits, when used together, can turn you into an absolute zombie killing machine, no matter what weapon you choose to wield. Whether you prefer axes, long blunts, short blunts, or whatever else. First and foremost, the trait you should always take, no matter what, is dexterous. If you were forced to choose only one trait in the game for your entire life, it should unquestionably be the dexterous trait. Dexterous accelerates item transfer speed by 50%, cutting in half the time required to transfer items. While this might not seem significant when dealing with a single item, its value becomes evident when transferring multiple items. Consider the tremendous amount of time you spend throughout an entire playthrough, picking up items, dropping items and organising items. Dextra slashes this time by 50%, providing you with substantially more time for other tasks. At just two points, this is an absolute must-have. The next trait that you should always take is either Stout or Strong. Stout provides a plus 2 in strength, and Strong offers a plus 4. The choice between the two depends on how many points you're willing to spend for your strength. But preferably, picking Strong is the optimal choice. The Strength skill plays an integral role for any character in Project Zomboid. It influences so many factors that improve your abilities, especially when it comes to combat. The higher your level is in strength, the higher your stats are for block chance, carry capacity, melee damage, knockdown chance, and the ability to successfully climb tall fences. Just think about how all of these different elements greatly affect your gameplay, and how having higher strength means having higher chances of success among those elements. Furthermore, it's crucial that you prioritize traits enhancing strength because it requires significantly more experience to level up compared to the other skills in the game. For instance, reaching level 1 in carpentry demands just 75 XP, whereas achieving level 1 in strength requires you to grind a staggering 1,500 XP. The disparity is just insane. The next must-have trait is either fit or athletic. Ideally, athletic is the superior choice, but if points are limited, fit serves as a suitable alternative. Athletic gives you a plus four in fitness, while fit gives you a plus two. Both of these traits increase your fitness level, which is a skill that is just as critical as strength in terms of its impact on your character attributes. Similar to strength, fitness influences important elements such as block chance, fatigue gain reduction, endurance loss reduction, endurance recovery increase, attack speed, trip reduction, and the likelihood of successfully climbing tall fences. All of these elements can mean the difference between life and death, so having high fitness will definitely give you a better quality of life when surviving. Both fitness and strength belong in the passive skills category which require substantial experience to level up. That is why selecting traits that boost these skills from the start provides a significant overall advantage. The strong and athletic traits are the ones I referred to earlier in the introduction, as the traits that can transform you into a zombie-slaying machine. Possessing high levels of these skills right at the start of the game is incredibly powerful, enabling you to be so much more effective in combat regardless of the weapon you use. The benefits of these passive skills will drastically enhance your survival effectiveness, and you will surely be able to feel the difference. The next trait 
is the most important trait of all, the subscriber trait. If you take this, your parents might finally start to love you. Unfortunately, I wasn't given the same opportunity you have now, so don't waste it. The next trait that you should always take is organized. This trait enhances your inventory capacity by a significant 30%. This storage boost applies not only to your personal carry capacity, but also extends to all storage containers, including bags, crates, and even car seats. This also means that you will be able to store more items in a container than a person without organized. In one server I played on, I had a container specifically meant for storing skill books. And whenever a friend borrowed a book from that container, they wouldn't be able to return it after they've finished reading. This is because their inventory capacity for the container was much smaller than mine, the one who initially stored the books. Some might argue that more carrying capacity isn't absolutely necessary, and they're right. But I firmly believe that the quality of life improvement offered by Organized justifies its cost of six points. The ability to carry a greater number of items provides a substantial advantage, particularly in the later stages of the game when you're likely to accumulate tons of random items. With increased inventory space, you'll spend less time managing and organizing those items, allowing you to focus more on exploration, survival, and other essential tasks. The next traits that I will be talking about are not as essential as these four. However, these traits are highly regarded within the Project Zomboid community, and you should also consider taking them if you have the points to spare. Let me give a quick rundown of these traits. Firstly, there's Gymnast. This trait boosts your nimble skill by one point, making it easier and more convenient for you to maneuver when fighting zombies. The next trait is Cat's Eyes, which enhances your vision at night. This is particularly valuable in servers where sleep isn't required, but less essential in single player where you can just sleep through the night. Next up is Wakeful. This extends the time you spend awake, making it take longer for you to get tired. This is primarily useful in single player, since multiplayer servers don't typically require you to sleep. Next, it's also worth considering Outdoorsman. Outdoorsman makes your immune system stronger, making it less likely for you to get sick. This is particularly beneficial during rainy and cold seasons. And last, but not least, Fast Learner. This trait enables you to gain more XP for every skill except strength and fitness, which is unfortunate since those two passive skills are what could really use an XP boost. But other than that, this trait makes it much easier to level up all the other skills, making it very valuable and convenient to have. These are the four must-have traits and the five valuable traits that you should consider. I suggest always taking the must-haves in every playthrough and pick up the valuable traits that will benefit your specific situation. But enough about traits. Did you know that there is actually a cure in Project Zomboid? And no, you don't have to install mods to use it. If you already know about that, then perhaps it's time you knew the truth about hordes. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.